What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. B-Rad the Builder here and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to sync your throttle bodies on your 2021 plus Yamaha MT-07 using a tool like this, vacuum gauges. I'll show you how to hook up all the hoses and what you're gonna be looking for in the gauges, how to sync the gauges, and also why it's important that you want these synced. Um, if you're having a rough idle uh, or you just change your spark plugs, did a valve adjustment, this is something you're definitely gonna to wanna to do. Make sure that's synced and it's running really well. Uh, so let's get into the video. All right, you guys, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pick up some gauges. You only need two, because this is a two cylinder bike. You can find these on Amazon for pretty cheap. Next, you're gonna prop up your tank with a piece of wood here. Leave the fuel pump connected with the wires and the hose. But do not need to connect these vent lines here. Now hold up, don't freak out. I do have a video on how to remove all the plastics on the bike and the link will be in the description. Let's get back to the video. And then this is gonna be the little nipple on the carburetor. That's what we're gonna be connecting our vacuum lines to. And there's one on each intake. And then here's our adjustment screw. It's in the same spot on the other throttle body. So that's what we're gonna be using to adjust the vacuum pressure. And first remove this little nipple cap, just using a needle nose pliers. Don't lose that. And we can connect our vacuum line here. Just use the needle nose pliers to get it started. Gently push it down, make sure it makes a good seal. And then on the right side, you're gonna find a vacuum hose that connects to a sensor. So we're gonna remove that. And then we're gonna connect our vacuum line on the right side. This little dial here, we're gonna keep that closed on the left cylinder for now. And keep it open on the right. We're gonna connect that into a T connection, which connects two gauges into one cylinder. And this is what we're gonna to use to sync the gauges. All right, so all these gauges work. There's just these little covers, we can unscrew those to get access to the screws underneath. And then that little brass screw or silver screw is the adjustment screw, which we'll turn to adjust the gauges so we can get them to sync. It's very important that we do this. Otherwise we're getting false readings. So go ahead and start the bike with the right cylinder connected into the two gauges. We can see here it's, it's way off. And I'm also gonna move the, the dial into an area where I can more easily see where they're synced. So I'm just gonna move it right above that white section there. You can move it somewhere else, but that's just where I chose to put it. And I'm just gonna get both dials right about in the same spot. There's two more important things I wanna mention. We gotta make sure that the bike is warmed up before making any adjustments to the screws. And also, we're not so much concerned with the reading on the gauge, we're just concerned with the dials being exactly the same on each cylinder. This is just a test just to make sure that the vacuum pressure is the same. Not necessarily looking at the reading, so don't read into that. Okay, now that we got them synced, I'm gonna adjust these little dials on both cylinders. We got the right cylinder and the left cylinder hooked up into individual gauges now. Just want that dial just to bounce a little bit, very subtle. We can see here I'm pretty much synced up, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that screw and show you how that right gauge fluctuates as we turn the screw. Here I'm just gonna turn it clockwise and watch that gauge kind of bounce up a little bit. So if, you're, if your needles are off, you're gonna go ahead and turn the one or the either left or right screw uh, to get both of these gauges to read exactly the same. After we do that, after they're synced, we can go ahead and reinstall that nipple there. And then go ahead and reinstall your vacuum line on the right cylinder. Very important that you do this. And regardless, you're gonna get a check engine light, but that will go out in about 15 to 20 miles once the ECU has a chance to recheck the system and zero out, so don't worry about that. That will go out on its own. If it doesn't, then you've hooked something up wrong, but that is gonna be how you sync your throttle bodies. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you thought it was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. I got lots of videos on the Yamaha MT-07. Go check those out. Otherwise, see you guys in the next video.